Good day, learners of SDO1 Pangasinan. Sir Wells here, and join me for another amazing lesson here at Setea TV, where learning science is always fun. We are guided by the principle that all living things are related to one another, just like how you crafted your family tree in your preschool. We can trace back who could possibly be our ancestors. You want to know how? Let's go! In this lesson, you will learn to recognize how comparisons of similarities and differences can suggest evolutionary relationships. Explain the significance of using multiple lines of evidence to identify evolutionary relationships. Infer the degree of relationships among organisms based on the amino acid sequence in the cytochrome C molecule. Compare four species of horses by measuring structures in their hind legs and differentiate various hominids by describing their physical features. Before we start, identify whether the statements are true or false. Correct! It's true! Let's try the second one. You are so clever. That's another true. Let's have the last one. Great job! It's false! Living things share common biomolecules which may be used to prove relationship. The chemical includes DNA and protein. The building blocks of this chemical may be analyzed to show similarities and differences among organisms. The more similarities, the closer the relationships. One of these is the protein cytochrome C, an important enzyme found in virtually all organisms. It is a highly conserved protein which functions in the electron transport chain system of mitochondria which is needed for the release of energy from food. It also performs a role in apoptosis, programmed cell death, by being released into the cytosol, activating the events of cell death. There are 104 amino acids in the human cytochrome C, 37 of which have been found at the same position in every cytochrome C that has been sequenced. The molecules are assumed to have descended from a primitive microbial cytochrome that existed over 2 billion years ago. A cladogram is a diagram used to represent a hypothetical relationship between group of animals called phylogeny. A cladogram is used by scientists studying phylogenetic systematic to visualize the group of organisms being compared, how they are related, and their most common ancestors. A phylogeny is a hypothetical relationship between groups of organisms being compared. A phylogeny is often depicted using a phylogenetic tree. A phylogenetic tree is a diagram used to reflect evolutionary relationships among organisms or groups of organisms. Scientists consider phylogenetic trees to be a hypothesis of evolutionary past since one cannot go back to confirm the proposed relationships. In other words, a tree of life can be constructed to illustrate when different organisms evolved and to show the relationships among different organisms. A phylogenetic tree can be read like a map of revolutionary history. Many phylogenetic trees have a single lineage database representing common ancestor. Phylogenetic tree can be illustrated as a rooted or unrooted. Scientists call such trees rooted, which means there is a single ancestral lineage, typically drawn from the bottom or left to which all organisms represented in the diagram relate. 
Notice in the rooted phylogenetic tree that the three domains, bacteria, archaea, and eukarya, diverge from a single point and branch off. The small branch that plants and animals, including humans, occupy in this diagram shows how recent and minuscule these groups are compared with other organisms. Unrooted trees don't show common ancestor, but do show relationships among species. In a rooted tree, the branching indicates evolutionary relationships. The point where a split occurs, called a branch point, represents where a single lineage evolved into a distinct new one. A lineage that evolved early from the root and remains unbranched is called basal taxon. When two lineages stem from the same branch point, they are called sister taxa. A branch with more than two lineages is called a polytony and serves to illustrate where scientists have not definitively determined all of the relationships. It is important to note that although sister taxa and polytony do share an ancestor, it does not mean that the groups of organisms split or evolve from each other. Organisms in two taxa may have split apart at a specific branch point, but neither taxa gave rise to the other. How does this phylogeny work for scientists? Let's think of phylogenies as family trees, where species were linked by branches from a root of their common ancestors. Also, branches indicate how these species relate to each other according to their distances. Therefore, we can observe that the closer the branches of species are in phylogeny, the more possibility that they could share common traits. Before we end this episode, I would like to share something. Humans live not by degree, but with love and care to every species. Next week, new lesson and new teacher. I hope you learn a lot here at Chesayak.